Hey there guys and welcome to this short video where we're going to be looking at how you can integrate Stripe into Peter Distinction to take payments using Stripe. We're going to look at both recurring payments and for um, single payments as well. So first of all, what you want to do is we're going to pull up our screen and we're going to go into PT Distinction. So inside your PTD account, first thing you want to do is go and set up your premium packages. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about premium packages, that's covered in a different video. All you want to do though up here is head to your premium packages first in the account. Once you've got your packages set up inside here, you can head over to the package that you want to set up the Stripe payment for. So in this case, I'm going to use a 12-week flagship program. You can see I've got set up here. I'm going to go to view edit, go to sell online, and I'm going to choose the no payment option. It's really important that you go for the no payment option because the payment is not being handled directly through PTD. It's being handled by Stripe. Then we're going to have our pre-made package iframe down here. We want to take this iframe code. We're going to copy it to our clipboard. And then you're going to head over to your website. So I'm over here inside my website. I'm using Wix um, for this particular example just because it's simple and easy to use. So here we are inside our Wix builder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a sign-up page. So not a sales page, a sign-up page. Now you're going to need a sales page for your site in order for this to work. Uh, but actually, you're also going to need a sign-up page. It's this sign-up page that you're going to add in your premium package too. So I've got a flagship sign-up page, as you can see here. Now inside here, I've just put some information on here, uh, a bit of text just saying thank you for signing up, because this here is going to be like a thank you page. This is what your clients are going to get directed to after they've made payment via Stripe. So you want to say something like, thank you for signing up, thank you for making payment, just something to confirm that a payment has actually now been made. And at this point here, this is where your client's going to create their account inside PTD. And the way we do that is by asking them to actually fill in the account creation form. So I'm going to click add up here. I'm going to go and add in our uh, integration. So I'm just going to go down to embed and I'm going to go and add my HTML widget. Now, depending on the website builder you use will depend on what process you do here. But basically, you want to do is make sure you find a way to add in your code to this particular page. So I'm just going to make this nice and big. Uh, Enter code. I'm just going to pop in the iframe code that I've made here and click update. So there you go. We have our iframe code all added in and ready to go. Once you've done that, you want to go and publish that page. Once you publish that page, you need to go and get the URL for it. So this is the URL that for this particular page. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go and get the URL for this page. Again, depending on website builder you use will depend on where you're going to get this from. So there you go. As you can see here, we have our URL for this page with our sign-up form on here ready to go. Now what we need to do is go and copy this URL. And now we're going to head over to our um, Stripe account. So inside our Stripe account, we're going to head over to Payments. And inside here, we're going to go down to Payment Links. And inside our Payment Links, we can click Add New. And we're going to name a product or create a product. So I'm just going to call this our flagship program. Click Add Flagship Program as New Product. You can put in more details here, description. You can put an image in there, whatever you want to do. And you can go and put in your price. So I'm going to put in 997. Choose your currency. You can also decide whether it's reoccurring or if it's a one-time option. Depends how you want to do it here. You can choose any of these options here. You can create custom at the bottom as well. There's also some advanced options down here if you want to add in some extra price descriptions in here as well. So I'm going to go for one time in this particular one. And then I'm going to click Add Product. Now, once I've added my products in there, I can choose what I want to appear on my payment page that you can see here. So whether you want promotional codes or not, whether you want to let customers adjust the quantity or not, or if you want to collect the email addresses or not um, for that particular client. Then we have the choice here of doing a confirmation page or don't show confirmation page and redirect customers to your website. And that's what we want to do next. So we're going to click this option here. We're going to go and paste in here the URL for our sign up page. Once we've done that, we're going to click create link. That's going to create a link that we can use here. And we're going to copy that to our clipboard. Now what we're going to do is head back to our website. We're going to go over to our sales page. So you want to go out and build your sales page. So I'm just going to use the home page for this particular example in here. Head to home. And what you're going to do is do your sales page and you're going to add in whatever copy you want to put inside here about how amazing your program is, the benefits and how it's going to help people. And then you're going to add in a button somewhere on there, which is going to be your call to action button. This is going to be the button that they click that's then going to allow them to take payment. So obviously you want to include here the price and whatever else you want to include on that call to action. And then what you're going to do is go and link it. And we're going to choose web address. And you're going to go and paste in the button code 
for Stripe that you've got inside here. So this is that link code for Stripe. Now you can use current window or new window. I would generally use current window in this particular one because it's actually going to redirect them back to your website once the payment's actually made. So you can hit uh, done there. Then you can publish that. Once you publish that, you can actually view your site. And on the sales page, once they've been through it all, what will actually happen is they'll go through, they'll think it's amazing, they'll click on that. It'll take them through to go and make payment. They'll then go make payment inside here. Once that payment has gone through and cleared, you'll redirect them through to your thank you page on here where they can then go and actually create an account inside PTD. That will trigger the premium package and adding all the content. And there you go. That is the simplest way to add in um, a Stripe integration into PTD so you can take payment that way. Now I'm going to be doing another video on this next week, which will be showing you how you can utilize Stripe with Zapier in order to take payments uh, inside PTD. And that will also show you how you can manage your subscription payments as well through PTD using Zapier. So say, for example, if you have a recurring payment using Stripe, we can have a Zap set up that will actually stop the client from having online access should a payment fail. But we'll cover that in a video for next week. Anyway, I hope this helps. As always, any questions, please let us know. And uh, I'll see you at the next video.